Hey racer fans, thanks for joining us on our weekly video. Today is our annual Christmas video. I get letters every week in the mailbag. Hey Miller, what's out there to read? The good news is a lot of good stuff. First we'll start with my buddy Pete Byro. For the last couple years, Pete's been a photojournalist in, in racing for the last six decades. One of the best ever. In the last couple years on Facebook, he's been, been he's putting these cool Can-Am pictures on his Facebook page. And I'm like, quit putting those pictures on Facebook and put them in a book. Ta-da! He listened. Pete Byro, Can-Am 50th Anniversary. George Levy wrote the text. Pete Lyons wrote the forward. Pete Byro put his pictures in here. He worked for Goodyear. He had access like a few others. And if you want to know about how exciting Can-Am was from 66 to 74, big engines, big names, Revson, Fulmer, Donahue, Gurney, McLaren, Penske, Haas. I mean, it was the greatest sports car era probably ever in this country. Just amazing. And all these candid shots because Pete's access was second to none. And um, I can just tell you this. It's on Amazon.com. It's on sale. It's one of the best books you'll ever buy if you're a sports car fan or just a fan of good racing and, and great personalities. So a year from now he's going to have a book like this about Indy cars. So two good Christmas presents back to back. You're all familiar with Dave Phillips. He used to write for Racer. He's been working for iRacing the last few years. But his claim to fame, he was Chip Ganassi's first PR man. That's right. He had the job of making Chip look like a good guy. <sighs> well, I mean, he did a fabulous job. we got to hand it to him. So he was rewarded last year when Chip decided to go to Le Mans for the first time. When Ford asked Chip to go to Le Mans with him, Ford made their comeback. They took Chip with him, and they said to David Phillips, why don't you document what we did? So Phillips said, absolutely. His book is called A Big Ask, and as we know, Ganassi went to Le Mans and won the first time he ever went there. Uh, it's really cool, kind of a cool behind-the-scenes look at how they put this team together pretty quickly, how they tested, and how they went over and kicked everybody's butt. It's on Amazon.com. It's also on, let me get it right, BookBaby.com. And I think uh, BookBaby.com is the, is the way to go, because right now, if you get it on Amazon.com, I think Davey makes three cents a book. You get it on bookbaby.com, he makes at least a nickel. He lives in Pittsburgh. He's known Ganassi for 40 years and worked for him. Give the guy a break. Buy his book. All right. The next book, Cages are for Monkeys. Now, there's very few people in auto racing that have a lower IQ than I do. Kevin Olson could rival me. He, uh, we raced midgets together in the 70s. He was USAC midget champ a couple times. Grew up with Stan Fox, Scott Dennison, Tim Payne, one of the boys up in Angel Park. Uh... This is just a great look at how fun midget racing was in the 70s, 80s, going up and down the highway with your buddies. And Lou Boyd of Coastal 181 uh, corrected all the spelling errors and tried to make it sound like there was some continuity to it. But Olsen's probably had, I mean, he could not go through concussion protocol. He's probably had 50 head injuries. But the amazing thing is he's lucid enough to put all his thoughts together in this book, and he's got one perverse sense of humor. He's a great guy. He's still at the Chili Bowl running an open face helmet because obviously another head injury is not going to hurt him. It's at Coastal181.com. But for all you Kevin Olsen fans, if you want to talk to him personally, 815 621 9288. Call him Collect. 815 621 9288. But only call him Collect if you're going to buy his book because he lives in a tent somewhere in Wisconsin. He only eats three or four meals a day. He needs the money. Get in the Christmas spirit. Kevin Olsen, Cages are for Monkeys. David Mouser, another guy that needs no introduction. About 11 months ago, came out with Will Power's life story, The Sheer Force of Will Power. Follows his career from the dirt tracks in Toowoomba all the way to Roger Penske's national championship. Obviously, he's been one of the fastest race drivers and one of the most successful the last eight or nine years in IndyCar racing. And this is kind of a different look at Will Power, a different side of him. I think he'll enjoy it. That's in Amazon.com and Target.com. Jeff Olson and Andy Hallberry, two more veteran riders who have covered IndyCar racing for years. USA Today, Racer... Motorsport, Autosport, you name it, they've written for them. They said, let's come up with a different way to look at Dan Weldon's career. So they, they got some help from Honda to put this really cool book together, Remembering Dan Weldon, Lionheart. And it's all of Weldon's old teammates, old rivals, old PR people, old media dorks like me. And it's everybody's memory of what Weldon was like on and off the track. It's a cool read. It's on Amazon.com. It's on sale right now. And I think you'll enjoy it because uh, there's a lot of cool stories in it. Gordon Kirby. Uh, what can I say about Gordon Kirby? He's 
one of the best writers for the last 40 years covering American motorsports. He teamed up with Joe Freeman a few years ago at Racemaker Press and they decided to start doing some documentaries with words and pictures. And I think they've hit the winner of all time with Tony Bettenhausen and family, a look at the Starcross Bettenhausen family. Seaman head Tony Sr., Gary, Merle, Tony Jr. And what's cool about this book, not only all the great pictures from all their memories and all their careers, but the, the captions on the pictures are the words of Merle Bentonhausen and Susie, the only girl of the Bentonhausen family, the only it was Tony's Tony's only daughter. They put all their memories with the captions, and it just came out to be really cool. So you can go to racemaker.com and, and buy this book right now. You can also get it at uh, Amazon.com. So it's just it's a collector's item, believe me. And Art Pollard's the guy to help me get started in racing. Early 70s, we bought a Formula Ford from Andy Granatelli when he was driving for Andy. Art lost his life in India in 1973. And Bob Kehoe was a big admirer of him and just said, you know what? I'm going to do a book about this gentleman. It's called Art Pollard, The Life and Legacy of a Gentleman Racer. It's at Amazon.com. It shows what a cool guy Art was. I mean, he was 46 years old when he passed away, but he acted like he was 26. He drove like he was 26. He didn't start his Indy car career until his late 30s. Uh, probably didn't have an enemy in the paddock. Helped out. Had a picnic every year for the, for the kids at Riley Hospital. A cool guy, and uh, this is a really neat book, Amazon.com. All right, Terry Reed wrote a book, Indie Ra Race and Ritual, in 1980. Well, he updated it a couple years ago, and you can go to Amazon.com and get it. It's a look at Indianapolis, kind of behind the scenes like you haven't seen before. And Terry Reed's been around a long time. He knows all the old stories and where the, all the old bodies are buried. Last but not least, near and dear to our heart, Racer Magazine. Go on Racer. If you don't subscribe to Racer right now, go on our website, See this picture up in the right hand corner, click on it, there's a little form. Fill it out, send it in with your address, we'll give you the next issue racer free. If you like it, for $39 you can have the whole rest of the season. For $39. $39 is what Marshall Pruitt spends at lunch, for God's sakes. $39 is not much. I mean, Paul Fanner's triple mortgage his house, his kids go without clothes. You've got to help us out here at Racer, it's the Christmas spirit. I mean, racing magazines are dying on the vine, kids, and this... It's still a great, great, great look at all forms of racing. Formula One, NASCAR, sports cars, obviously Indy cars, good stories, sometimes really good stories, and really good pictures. Collector's item, keepers, Razor.com, $39 a year. I mean, come on. Have a heart. It's Christmas time. All right. Thanks for reading. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next week.